A slow start to this afternoon's parliament sitting, but not long. Question without notice shook the House as the shadow treasurer fired detailed questions. Among the specifics, the very reason why the Prime Minister Peter O'Neill resisted to pass the PNC leadership to his members. Prime Minister, why did you not step down earlier and offer your failing leadership to more competent leaders such as your former finance minister, the Honourable James Marape, or even, or even to your very indecisive deputy and treasurer, Charles, unable to fix the economy. The Prime Minister was very frank, stating that PNC leadership was an internal matter. The Prime Minister was disturbed more than five times with point of orders from the alternate government. I did not uh, elect myself into this position. The people of Papua New Guinea elected me. The leaders of this house elected me. Leaders of this house elected me, Mr. Speaker. Now, you can test the numbers whenever you like, Mr. Speaker. That's your uh, right that uh, the good member has, and that's his constitutional right. You can test it any time. But I don't have to resign because he's asking me to resign. Who are you? Order! 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 Order. Among the many questions, the obvious reasons of the UBS loan and current investment status and economic status. According to the Prime Minister, he claims the report sourced by the alternate government is fake. He says the economy is doing better on an average level compared to past governments. That documents or data that was released by NSO recently shows that from 2009, 2009, this is a per capita figures that are released by independent and by National Statistical Office. From 2009, from 4,679 kina to 2016, an increase of almost 30 years plus percent to 7,672 kina. That's a clear indication of a country's economy performing quite well. Fidelis Sukina, National MTV News.